Hi everyone, and welcome back to our Unreal Engine tutorial series. Today, we're going to dive into the exciting world of texturing. Specifically, we'll be focusing on texturing the floor in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. First, navigate to the Materials section of Unreal Engine and remove the carpet material that was previously assigned to the floor. Now, it's time to find the perfect textures for our floor. You have a variety of options, such as Textures.com or SketchUp. However, for this tutorial, we'll be using Quixel Bridge, which conveniently integrates with Unreal Engine. If you haven't already, sign up or sign in to Quixel Bridge and locate the texture you want to use. Once you've found it, download and export it into Unreal Engine. After exporting the texture into Unreal Engine, you'll notice three files, the base file, the normal map, and the specular map. We'll create an instance for the full material you downloaded and assign it to the floor. Now, let's make some adjustments to the tiling of our floor texture. You can experiment with scaling it up or down to create the desired effect. This can help make the room feel larger or smaller. Take a moment to observe the changes and ensure the flow of the texture looks clean. Feel free to play around with the tiling until you find the perfect fit. Once you're satisfied with the tiling, let's move on to adjusting the normal strength of the floor texture. You can also tweak the roughness to control the reflectiveness of the floor. Don't be afraid to experiment with different levels and observe how they affect the appearance. This is your opportunity to fine-tune the texture and achieve the desired look. Take your time to find the optimal settings that suit your project. Now, let's explore another important setting called the hue. This allows us to change the colors of our floor texture. You can play around with the saturation, brightness, and contrast to achieve the desired effect. However, after testing different options, I found that the default color worked best in this case. Now that we've successfully assigned a texture to our floor, it's time to search for a custom material that truly stands out. To do this, I headed over to SketchUp's extensive library at texturedclub.com, with the specific goal of finding a carpet-like material that perfectly suits our floor. After some searching, I stumbled upon a promising option and downloaded it, 
only to find that it contained just the base material. But don't worry, our journey doesn't end here. I discovered a fantastic online platform called Normal Map that allows us to take our texture to the next level. It enables us to generate different variations of the texture by creating various maps, such as the Normal Map, Displacement Map, Specular Map, and more. Now, it's important to keep our files organized, so let's take a moment to rename them accordingly. We start by renaming our downloaded base map, ensuring we have a clear understanding of what we're working with. Then, we move on to renaming the newly generated normal map. And let's not forget to give our specular map a proper name too. With these three textures ready, we're now set to import them into Unreal Engine. We're ready to bring our custom materials to life within Unreal Engine. Selecting all three textures, we import them into the engine, as we aim to utilize the ambient occlusion and displacement map features. When importing textures into Unreal Engine, it's important to check the normal map settings. Ensure that the sRGB option is not ticked, as normal maps do not work with sRGB. If you're not using Unreal's Quixel plugin, you can create your own custom material. Connect the adjustments you made to this material and make sure the attributes are checked to use a material attribute. Delete the default textures and replace them with the ones you imported. Once you're comfortable with your settings, you can save the file. With the new textures in place, let's create an instance for our custom material. Assign this instance to the floor and open it up to tweak the settings. You can enable tiling and experiment with different values for the X and Y axes. Try out various combinations to find the best variation that suits your floor texture. Now, let's talk about roughness. Since we're working with a carpet material, we want to reduce the shininess. Cloth materials, like carpets, typically have a lower roughness value compared to the floor. Adjust the roughness value accordingly until you achieve the desired look. Once you're satisfied, don't forget to save your file. Congratulations! You've successfully created a custom material for your floor texture. Remember, you can also use the Megascans plugin or other Megascans texture nodes to create unique textures for your projects.
With these powerful tools at our disposal, we can create visually stunning and immersive virtual environments. That's it for today's 